you mentioned about sort of debt spirals. Mm. Um, I guess that's a big one at the moment, it feels, isn't it? A lot of people living off credit. It's, it's huge. And I say at the moment, it's you know, years and years ago, I spent a short while working in um, a lending bank. Mm. And even back then, and we're going back probably 15 years, mm. people walking off the street with just insane credit card debt, paying the minimum payment and just never getting anywhere with it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean... I almost want to ask them what the advice is there. but Well, panic solves nothing, yeah. I think, is the first piece of advice. And a lot of people, the way they beat themselves up is they panic. It's a natural response for all of us as human beings. I think it's a natural response, though, because of the way letters are worded. Mm. That they're going to end your exactly. You know, they're going to end your existence if you don't pay it within thirty days. Those letters are never helpful either to the mm. mental health of an individual. But mm. you have to say to yourself, right, panic solves nothing. And actually, you've had some very good martial artists on. You know, they talk about the martial arts mindset. You know, when you're on the floor and you're being grappled by someone who's probably much stronger and much more technically able than you your first situation you've got to condition your mind to do is not to panic you've got to start thinking and therefore when you start thinking you've got to think what's the right attitude for this situation what do i need to prepare myself mentally to do and then you can get your plan together and target your efforts to go and seek help and there is help around. There's the Citizens Advice Bureau. Um, they're a good outfit, with all due respect, the, for people who are in these situations. They are a guidance uh, giver, with all due respect, and I'm going to explain. They're called the Citizens Advice Bureau, but advice is very different to information and guidance. There are three levels that we re really need to talk about. Information. Information is readily available. You know, YouTube and other search media platforms, you know, they all give information and that must always be interpreted in context and suitable, you know, made suitable for what you're actually trying to achieve. Then there's guidance, and this is where the Citizens Advice Bureau come in and they really talk about what are your options? You know, they really, we had a client lady come in to us, you know, very modest and all the rest of it, but she'd been to the Citizens Advice Bureau about her pension situation. And she came in with these fantastic handwritten notes, two pages of dense handwritten notes. And they'd given her every option. They'd given her all the guidance possible so she knew all her options. And we just sat down and said to her, so what's your outcome? I have no idea. I'm more confused than when I started because I've got two pages of notes here, but they do not give advice. They will not help you with that outcome. And that, therefore, is for you to take that information away, interpret it to your situation. And if you're still confused by that, seek help. And there is help for people who are spiraling into debt. I know banks are getting a little bit better on this um, with regard to, you know, they have helplines and so on that you can call up to talk to people about this. There are also charities out there for debt. Um, and also mental health charities do a lot on this as well. So I, you know, reach out to them as well and can't personally congratulate them because I've seen some of their work. It's very good. Um, but those are the people you really need to reach out to as quickly as possible, because if you're in that negative situation, with all due respect, it's a snowball. It's only going to keep getting bigger unless you get the, you've got to get out fast mm -hmm. and therefore you've got to deliver the long term out well, you've got to start on that long term outcome you're seeking, which is this path to financial freedom and frankly peace of mind. You're not having that when you're in that situation. Okay. Yeah. Scary situation mm, to find yourself in, I think, isn't it? Yes. And it, it's, it's no wonder that, you know, the statistic that Nuffield's sort of published mm. is that high. I think. Absolutely. With the situation we've seen at the moment with the macroeconomic environment, people are really feeling squeezed. I mean, the government's giving out inflation figures of ten percent. With all due respect, that's based on a basket of goods, which is not necessarily what we would all buy every single day. Uh, when you look at it, a website I like to refer to is Trueflation, a very good website out there, where they look at a basket of goods which are more akin to what we would probably go out and buy every day, you know, food, energy, wise, and etc. And they reckon it's more closer to 16 17%. And then if you go into the supermarket and look at the prices a bit closer, I think you'll find it's closer to 19, 20%. I saw a statistic the other day. So with those pressures heaping on people now, debt spirals are a very real danger. But this is an opportunity. This is a reality check for people. It's, you know, we live in a good country. Let's not beat ourselves up too much. It's a very good, safe society we live in. There is a lot of help around if you seek it. And therefore, don't panic. Seek the right advice and help and guidance. And then, frankly, go away, interpret it, and action it. And that's the most key point. You've got to action it and go forward. Mm -hmm. When you say uh, action it, do you, do you mean budget? Like yes. budget budget every part of your life? Like would you, would you budget the food bill? There's always a balance, budget? isn't there? You've got to live for today, but also you've got to prepare and hope that there is a tomorrow. 
you know, some of us aren't always that fortunate, but you've always got to be that optimistic. You've got to be that positive in life. If you know, if you thought you were going to cop it at the end of the day, you just think, well, yeah, okay, fine. But we've always got to think there is a tomorrow, and you've got to plan for that tomorrow and do the best you can. So it's a trade-off between living for today, but also planning for tomorrow. And that is, you know, you've got to develop that mindset of, yes, I need to get myself a plan together. I need to go through all my, you know, credit card statements and frankly figure out where I am with my debt. I need to look at my bank statements and figure out why my cash flow is not positive. Do I really need this Disney uh, subscription every month? Mm -hmm. You know, do I really get full value out of Netflix with all due respect? Would my time be better spent in the evening going down the gym, working on my physical health, mm -hmm. uh, which might be slacking at the moment because my mental health has been so beaten up. I've been neglecting my body. Maybe I should get a health check. Maybe all these things lead into each other. It's just a little bit every so often. You just need to focus back in on yourself and develop your situation. And that's the only piece of guidance that I'd give to anyone in this situation. Seek help. Don't panic. There is help out there, and it's good.